and I don't want to look at this funding cut in isolation from what is happening. In British Columbia, the federal government wants to put through a massive pipeline, and the people who are raising the biggest opposition to it are Aboriginal. The bands throughout British Columbia, the First Nations throughout British Columbia, they want to put a pipeline, an expanded pipeline through southern BC, and the people who are most opposed to it are the First Nations. They want to transport coal on Vancouver Island, and it's the First Nations who are mostly opposed. I tend to view this as an attempt by Harper and the federal government to silence critics. And I think that's how we should look at it. I also looked at the letter we got. I don't have it, as I said, here in front of me, but it says the amount of money we're going to get is going to be based on a number of factors, and one of those factors is the on-reserve population. The federal government still refuses to accept that First Nations governments represent all of their people. They want to divide us. They want to continue to divide us, just as they have for the past couple of hundred years. So they want to pit us against each other on reserve against off reserve. And the New Channel people don't, don't fall for that. We represent all New Channel people, all of the First Nations of the New Channel Tribal Council. So we tend to view this as an attempt to silence First Nations and as an attempt to divide them. In um, the letter that you see in the kits, the minister says that uh, there's going to be a, a simplified way of reporting. This is his uh, carrot in front of the horse. He's going to make a simplified way of reporting. But if you look at the block funding agreement, the reporting mechanism is way more onerous than it used to be because there's now clawback provisions. They're going to claw back money that isn't spent properly according to their eyes. So our reporting mechanism under the block funding is going to be far more difficult than it was in the past, but now the minister in his press blurb is saying that this is all good for the Aboriginal people because among other things, their reporting mechanism is going to be a lot easier. Those two statements just cannot stand beside each other. When I was young, one of them would have been called a lie. Today we call it uh, misleading or something like that. So our, um, our view of the, uh, of the uh, announcement by the minister to the Nuchanov Tribal Council last week is looked at in terms of the bigger picture of what is happening in British Columbia.